number of women waiting to have babies until they're after 35 years old has been rising steadily, but the problem is a woman's fertility starts to decrease at the age of 32. Yeah, doctors say a relatively new blood test can help a woman determine the health and number of her eggs. KV's Rebecca Trejo with the story of one family and how it helped them. Yes. Looking at these healthy twin babies, hello. it might not occur to you that Eden and Emery Kirkendall's birth, 11 months today, the oh, happy birthday, birthday, may not have happened. And James and I, uh, we got married and decided after about two years of marriage that we wanted to start a family. Uh, naive as we were, we automatically thought as soon as we made that agreement that we wouldn't have much trouble. Three miscarriages later, Sarah wanted to know what was wrong. So we kind of wanted to see if there was a problem, if it was me physically, or if it was something like egg uh, reserve. Her fertility specialist, Dr. Natalie Berger, at the Texas Fertility Center recommended the anti-mullerian hormone test. So anti-mullerian hormone test, i.e. the AMH test, is a simple blood test that can give you an idea as to your relative egg count. And it's something you can actually get quite easily done. Primary care provider, your OBGYN, also be done on any day of the menstrual cycle or even if you're on the birth control pill. It works by measuring the anti-mullerian hormone that surrounds a woman's ripe eggs. And so the fewer eggs that you then have in your ovaries as time goes on, the less of this hormone you have. Dr. Berger says more women are taking the test because more research has been done and doctors are able to better understand the results. Sarah took it and discovered her count was low. Despite the disappointment, Dr. Berger encouraged her and recommended intrauterine insemination and later in vitro fertilization, which after five years gave her the greatest gift. Oh, we're, we're just incredibly happy, so thankful. In Austin, Rebecca Trejo, KVU News. Sweet babies. Happy birthday to them, too. Doctors say the test is usually covered by insurance, but if you do have to pay out of pocket, it is about $140. Well, after months of speculation, we now know Tony Romo's next move. What's ahead?